So now, therefore, I, Michael L. Parson, Governor of the State of Missouri, do by, hereby proclaim May the 4th, 2022 to be. I certainly wasn't expecting this video to turn out that way. In fact, I wasn't even expecting to make this video, if I'm being honest. I was, however, planning on making four other videos, two for this channel, two for my other channel. And as it tends to do, life happens. So I ended up combining them all in one. And here's that. Oh, one thing before we get into it. I do want to point out that, yeah, this festival was a little bit slow. Don't take me showing that as me meaning anything by that. They have great festivals out there. They're doing some great stuff with the place. It was slow because it was their first year, so people just don't know about it yet. Hopefully next year and in the years following, they'll get a bigger crowd out there. Today we're here at the Shepherd of the Hill Spring Festival, and this is about the only thing that's going on so far. A wasp has made friends with my butterfly balloon. Here's my little setup. To be honest, yeah, I'm a bit embarrassed by it. I realized just this morning that the sign I had going on would not work at all if it was even a little bit windy. It would just blow right over, so I had to use some stuff I had and make a makeshift sign really quickly. Very professional, huh? See what I mean about being windy? This guy just will not stay up. And here's the crowds we're dealing with so far. You probably can't tell because of the trees, but there's a pretty cool view here. We're higher up than I thought on this little hill, mountain, whatever. Look at where I'm stationed right next to the jump pad. That little slide back there too. I'm not gonna lie, that is pretty tempting. This egg just attacked me, you guys. It blew all the way over in front of my stuff. Kind of fun, I've never been attacked by an egg. We've had some people by now, but it kind of slowed down again. I guess there's an Easter egg hunt going on over there, so the Easter Bunny stole all the kids. Some egg maintenance going on. It not only attacked again, it came unplugged. Uh, I got asked to do an axolotl. That was the coolest thing today, but I think next week I'm gonna go ahead and bring a catalog. Even taking requests, people just sometimes don't know what they want. There's too many choices out there. Well, day two, Shepherd of the Hills. It should have technically been day three, but last week it was cold and rainy, so I'm gonna level with you. I know out of that one. They seem to have done away with the bunnies and Easter stuff. I don't know if that was because of the wind or because Easter has passed by now. It is about 11.19. The gates opened at 11 and so far we're looking at that same thing we were the first week even though the weather is really nice out today. I mean look at that you guys. I'm trying something a little bit different with my setup this week because frankly I got sick of it blowing all over the place a couple of weeks ago. It seems to be pretty secure this way and it also frees up some room on my little table there so this is the back way in right here this is where i drove to get in today and unload my stuff now that i knew where i was going this week and since there's no one coming down this way yet there's a couple of things i'm going to show you guys first of all look at this an old railroad track right in the middle of the road and then when i was coming over here i noticed a gravestone right in the middle of the hill maybe we'll be busier after lunch i mean even one customer would be busier than this no one's even guarding the bounce house today. Uh, that still looks tempting, you guys. So now I'm just looking for four-leaf clovers. Look at these. I don't think I've ever seen any with leaves that long. Are they called leaves on clovers or are they petals? Something I'm going to have to look up. I guess they did just take down the inflatable things for Easter. They don't have all of the tables set up out here anymore and none of the decorate your own Easter egg stuff on it. All by myself. Couple of cars in the parking lot by now. It is windy, you guys. Look at that flower blow. Yeah, I jury rigged my sign with duct tape. Handyman's secret weapon right there. There are some signs of civilization. I found a sock. The gates have been open an hour and 15 minutes. Still no people, at least back here. And you guys, I can't resist anymore. Let's do it. Can't do one without the other. You gotta do the wagon too. Oh, whoa, it's actually a little bit steeper than it looks. Whee! So now I'm wandering through the rest of the park, going to old Matt's cabin because there's something cute in here. Look at this, you guys, bunnies and chicks. 
Debbie, this shot's for you. Here's some chickens. Can I pet it? Yes. Aww. Hey there, Bun Bun. Oh, you're so soft. Here's the little garden out here. This is pretty cool. On the highway, this is how crowded it is, you guys. Usually there's a line of cars backed up to go to Silver Dollar City. Nothing today. We have hay rides at this festival pulled by a Jeep. That's coming up this way. And this up here is pretty cool. It's a historic old post office. And they're restoring it, and they're going to have a big dedication ceremony on May 4th. And there's a sycamore. That's one of the trees that morels grow around. Remember that? And here's the building where they're going to be having the ceremony. I like this butterfly. I haven't been down to this part of the park yet. And you got a fence of butterflies. Oh, another fence of butterflies. I like this one. Way down there at the bottom is the amphitheater where they have the main show. I remember once when I was a kid, they had some Clydesdales down there. And it was raining so hard that night, but we went and saw them anyway. And there's more stuff to do down there. Some tree houses, pet and zoo, mini golf. That one is fun. Obstacle course. I'll come back out here sometime and show you guys all that. We even have a slide right up there. There it is. I love mazes. Oh, I didn't notice that before. Look down in there, that wagon has a slide coming out of it. And we have a nice little photo off there with the waterfall right behind it. I got all excited because I found ducks, but they are fake. Decoy ducks. Look at this, they have Charleston shoes. I don't know why I'm so excited about that. I never actually buy them, but I get excited every time I see them. What's truly important, the great taste of Charleston shoe. Whoa, seriously? Gooseberry black walnut jam. That's interesting. Oh, they have stuff from the War Eagle Mill. Awesome. I'm gonna do a video about that place here in a month or two. They even have a little horse you can ride in here. That's pretty cute. And of course, copies of Shepherd of the Hills. If you remember, I mentioned Harold Bell Wright. That is who wrote that book right there. Oh, a bat house. Oh, awesome. I love that. Look, you guys, it's a Mickey Mouse. And I didn't make it. I met a friend who does balloons as well. His name is Catfish, and I actually have a really funny story about him. That's him over there with a the beard. A couple of years ago, we were in a car accident. I thought he looked familiar, and then I heard the name and realized who it was. But the accident was in town. I was sitting at a stoplight, and all of a sudden, two cars ahead of me, a FedEx truck just veered off to the side really quickly. I was watching that because what the heck kind of driving was that? And all of a sudden, I turned around and looked through the windshield of the car in front of me, which was the one that belonged to Catfish, only to see a boat careening backwards down the hill toward us. It slammed into his car and his car bumped back into mine, so he's the only person I know of that can say he's been hit by a boat on dry land. We are fixed to release some butterflies, which means, of course, everybody has to have a butterfly, right? You don't want to squeeze it in the middle because that's where the butterfly is. and the green meadows and he created butterflies. He wants you to put a wish on the butterfly because the butterfly can't talk, so it means it can't tell anybody to wish. And that way your wish can come true, okay? One, two, three, open up your envelope and let's see what For a minute, I felt like I was back at the Butterfly Palace because they were all over the road. I had to watch out so I wouldn't step on one. I just noticed they have ducks down here in the water troughs. It was pretty cool. Hi, ducks. Even if you are rubber. It's getting warm and I thought that my balloon decorations are starting to pop. Look at the poor egg. It's lost part of its nest. I got bored while ago and made a chain. There it is blown in the wind. I wasn't going for a Mardi Gras theme. It just kind of happened that way. Those were the first colors I pulled out of the bag. So here's the room right next to where I was stationed. I love all these little butterflies hanging down. It's a pretty bench back there too. Little mural behind it. 
And here you can decorate your own springtime souvenirs. They have some paintbrushes out and palettes and paint. And around over here is what you can actually decorate. How cool they have wind chimes, bird houses, little flower pot picture frames. Those are cute. And some pots right there. This is my view again. Honestly, it kind of feels like I'm on a camping trip or something. Just sitting out here in the sun all day. Day three, my setup's a little bit different this week. One of the leaves on my flower already popped from the sun, so I doubt the butterfly's gonna last that long. But it gave me something to do while we didn't have any customers. I've never noticed this, but goat pupils are kind of like the slits in cat eyes, except they're sideways. They're pretty cute. Look at that little one. That big white one back there, he's pretty majestic. When I was walking back from looking at the goats just now, one of my flowers popped and it jump scared me, you guys. Not a whole lot going on down that way either. Not even a sign of Bigfoot. I do like the vines on the side of that building though. I forget, did I already show those last week? I found a lizard, I'm gonna sneak up on him, try to get his picture. Usually they run when I try to get too close. Just like that. And I just found a sheep. I'm gonna go see if I can figure out how to get down there and get a better view. I guess this is as good a way as any. Man, there's a lot of pollen on that thing. Here we go. actually a bit faster than I expected. We also have an obstacle course down here and a little tree house. This is a fun place. There's some mini golf down there too. Can't see it from here. Here we go. My, you're fluffy. Hey, no rough housing. You guys are adorable. They have a very majestic beard. Am I getting a good shot? You guys see what I mean about their eyes? Apparently the sheep is the boss around here. Uh, look at this, they have food for them too, only 50 cents. The question now, how do I get back up? There we go, I found some stairs. It's time to play a game. It's called, let's see if I can fit five bags of balloons into my car. Turns out it was pretty easy. I could have made about three more probably. For now, I'm illegally parked in the handicap spot right in front of my apartment just so I could get them in there easily. So I'm gonna get on going. I should have gotten gas on the way back from Arkansas yesterday. It's 3.58 at the state line. It's 7.15 right now, a.m. I wanted to get there in plenty of time to make sure I could get everything done well in advance. It would rain today. The Playhouse Theater, I guess, is where I'm going. Don't actually know exactly where that is. I stepped out of the car and the building was literally right behind me, so that was easy to find. There's a pretty little waterfall right out here in front of the theater much much later so here's the cake i love the little cabin on it in celebration of harold bell ride 150 years here's the theater starting to fill up a little bit they moved it inside because of the rain thankfully and they have plenty of drinks as well as the cake and we can't forget about this balloons i got it done you guys yay there's a picture of the old historic post office up front they brought that over here and refurbished it and this is what that event today really is about it's a ribbon cutting now we're all set today we celebrate the 150th birthday of Harold Bell Wright and with that is the dedication of those lights not the post office with the encouragement of his congregation, he took time off from his church and wrote The Shepherd of the Hills. It was the first book in U.S. history to sell over a million copies. In conclusion, from The Shepherd of the Hills, Harold Bell Wright writes, I never understood until the past months why the Master so often withdrew alone into the wilderness. In the wilderness, there is not only food and medicine for one's body, there is also healing for the heart and strength for the soul and nature. And while the National Park effort was ultimately derailed by the Great Depression, it was announced today that the Sherman Hill State Park has become a reality just for the here in the world. The little post office started out as a symbol of a pioneering Ozarks community where neighbors would gather for fellowship or to seek support as they carved out a living on these beautiful yet remote and rugged hills. It was at this little post office that they would come and know and admire Levi more. 
Levi was a dedicated postmaster and a memorable character. So memorable that Harold Bill Wright immortalized the postmaster in his 1907 novel, The Shepherd of the Hills, as Uncle Ike. So I want to thank everyone who played a part in living and restoring Uncle Ike's uh, Notch Post Office, and thereby recognizing the inestimable contribution of Levi Moore and his friend, Harold Bill Wright, to the Ozarks. May the preservation of this building also preserve an important part of our Ozarks history and culture for generations to come. And when we look at the state park that we're talking about dedicated today, and when you see what Harold Bell Wright, when, when he wrote, uh, it's just not about the book, it's just not about the park, it's about who we are, the people that live in this area, and what we represent. I, I can tell you, they were talking about Uncle Ike's post office. So my brother, my brother is Ike. Hmm. It is my brother, so that's kind of cool. So I'm sitting up here listening. I'm saying, well, maybe they didn't have my brother. I'll tell my grandkids later on about that. You know, but how did I be growing up as Ike and Mike? <laughs> so today we're honoring something that happened 150 years ago. Is what we're doing, and to be able to do that. But I will tell you, for all of you sitting in this audience today, your thoughts taken. What are you going to add to this old world? And what are you going to add to society and thoughts? So with that being said. <laughs> I have something I'd like to present today, a proclamation in reference to Harold L. Wright on his 150th birthday. This will be the first time I've actually done one of a 150 year birthday celebration uh, that I've got to do. So it's kind of significant in that and tells a little, a little bit of the history of it. But I wanted to honor Harold L. Wright, uh, my own self as governor of state Missouri as an individual, along with being here for the ribbon cutting uh, on the last post office uh, today. Let's do our dedication, let's show our honor and respect for a great Missourian, Harold Bell Wright. So now, therefore, I, Michael L. Parson, Governor of the State of Missouri, do by, hereby proclaim May the 4th, 2022 to be Harold Bell Wright Day in the State of Missouri. And that, my friends, was that. As the governor drove off triumphantly toward the horizon, the rain continued to torrentially beat down, and delicious birthday cake was had by all.